the nigga's birthday and all that. Gotta have a drink. We ain't do the VSOP today, we did the regulars, you heard? Some ice. Let's do what we do, you heard? Kids, pour up, take a shot with your boy, man. Pour it up to the- Real team. Real team. Share living, peace, happiness, and joy. Is what I want you to have in your life, peace. Is that joy and happiness? When I look at this video, I see a lost soul that needs help. My name is Prime, and I'm 120 days sober. How's everybody doing? I go by the name of Prime. I'm sure you should know me by now. If you watch my videos, I have officially made it to 120 days of being sober. My last drink I had was April 28, 2024. And it is now August the 28th. And I finally made 120 days of being sober. I had a real bad battle with alcohol. I started drinking just to, you know, give you a little, to keep you up to date. I started drinking when I was 15 years old and I didn't stop for 31 years straight, just drinking every single day. And towards the end of me quitting, it got really, really bad. And I had to catch myself. And, you know, thanks to the most high, I was able to catch myself and to those that helped me. I really appreciate it. I really value all the information people gave me, all the YouTube videos I watch. And I thank you for the comments that you guys left. And um, I thought I was alone, but I'm not. I feel like I made it past the hardest part. This is the everyday battle. And I think the hardest part with, with me was, you know, putting the bottle down and never going back to it. I didn't have no withdrawals. I wasn't tempted. So in my heart, I feel like I got past the hardest part. Now, know that when you quit drinking alcohol, you're gonna be tested every day. I've been around a lot of you know, I've been to a lot of parties. I am a DJ, I'm a real sociable person. So I've been around a lot and I haven't had any temptations to, you know, get a drink. So in my heart, yes, I really feel like I made it past the hardest part, but it's a battle every day. I think the, the one of the most dangerous times that I was intoxicated and I really feel like it's necessary to share this story or share these stories um, I believe it was back in like 2007. I went to a Christmas party in Brooklyn and I live in Astoria. So it was about an hour away. I think I rode close to like, I drove out to Coney Island. Nice big party. I started drinking Hennessy before I went there. I had like a, a little half a pint that I drunk. And once I got there, we were just taking shots after shots. I really don't know the the exact age that was like 2007 we in 2024 but yeah that was like in um 2007 and i was 28 years old when that happened so long story short i started drinking real heavy real heavy and then from there we went to brooklyn to another spot in manhattan on 59th street and we continued drinking continue having jello shots started drinking more and more and more and I went to go drive the car and one person was like, listen, don't drive, I got you. And I'm like, nah, I'm all right, I'm all right, I'm good, I'm good. And I wasn't, when I got in the car, I felt like my feet had bricks on it. And once I got on the bridge, it started snowing and my car was sliding a little bit. So I finally got to Astoria and every stop sign that I came to, I was so drunk that I pressed the brakes and I slid past the stop sign and still looked both ways. That's how drunk I was. So it wasn't like I came to the stop sign, I was looking. I stopped, the car slid because of the snow, and in the middle of the street, I'm looking back and forth. And once I got to the parking lot, I was so scared, and I'm not gonna lie to you, I wanna be 100% real with you. It was the craziest thing. I was so drunk, I woke up the next day feeling so bad. And that was one of the most dangerous times that I could have killed myself, killed somebody, been locked up, caught a DWI, but I was protected thanks to the most high.
that's a good question how did i become an alcoholic um because i was alcoholic that's the thing you can't be in denial you know i was a straight alcoholic straight up um drinking every day i just think the the you know the excessive drinking i was drinking every single day and like i said before in one of my videos it felt good it tastes good you know it made me feel like i was above the world and i believe that's how i became alcoholic just drinking consistently every every single day seven days a week non-stop you know till i basically got sick and i would chill for two days and get right back to it i i realized i had a problem with drinking i mean probably like a month or two after i started drinking i started to realize that i had a problem once i started drinking more and more and more i saw that it was a growing problem you know especially towards the end i started taking shots in the morning that's what i know was a problem it started really getting into my you know way of living you know once my son said something about it this is when i knew this was a problem and i had to address it so i addressed it the best way i had and that was by quitting but i definitely knew the problem was coming you know when, when the drink had started getting heavy my recovery program basically what i do now is um i read a lot i'm focused more on my music i'm focused more on my son focus more on my health i work out a lot i'm just doing a lot of things that you know i was doing before but i'm doing more of it now because i could really just focus on it you know i could focus on it without any having any kind of distractions or anything like that so it's like now it's beautiful because when you drink it comes with a limit like you get here and then boom you messed up hang over the next day throwing up all this stuff so with you know this sober life it's like it just gets better by the day every day it gets better i'm just more happy more alert and um you know that's what i'm doing I'm just doing things that keep me busy and things that i love doing and i suggest anybody that when, when you go through this sober journey you just continue to do the things you love to do and try to do new things you know what i'm saying try to meditate outside or you know meditate at a different time in the morning or take a walk in the park or go to the park with a book and read a book those things help anything helps this is very important to me and I always want to tell you that always remember what works for me may not work for you. So with that being said, my advice to you is first things first is you have to recognize you have a problem. You cannot lie to yourself and say, I'm good. I don't have a problem. I'm just having a drink. This no, there's no amount of alcohol good. I don't care if you just drink a little bit. If you drink once a week, it's still poison going in your body. It's a poison. It's a straight up toxic. It's poison to the body. I would say recognize you have a problem first. Try to stop on your own. If you can't stop on your own and you see it's a problem, talk to someone that has stopped, that has been that that's been through where, where you're about to go. Um I, I watched a ton of YouTube videos, they help. Cause now we in the you know age of technology where we could go on the internet and type in something and, and a bunch of videos will come up opposed to not having an internet and you know, having to go personal, personally and talk to somebody. So that's what I would tell you to do. Definitely reach out to somebody. Um, you know, the AA programs uh, are great, I suppose. I haven't done that. You know, luckily I have got to this um, status, you know, on my own. And the only help I got was like watching videos from YouTube, talking to a few people. But, you know, this is something that I wanted to do for a long time. So it was in the making. And that's what I would tell you, you know, just try to get some kind of help. Don't be afraid to talk to somebody. Um, don't be afraid to reach out. I hope this video helps you in some kind of way. Please subscribe to the channel. It's just going to be, this is my life. This is Prime's world. You know, this is just a little piece of my life. I'm, I'm going to have a lot of other things I'm going to talk about. I, I pray for you. I hope that you can stop drinking like I did because it's really terrible and once you stop, so many great things is gonna happen. And I finally made 120 days. I never thought this is the first summer in 31 years that I haven't had one single drink, nothing. You could do it, be strong, peace. I wish you all the best, I'm out.